were you? Where were you? Everyone from Catch Point was out here earlier to defend this company except for you. So that, that is the remaining question. Where were you? Now, I'm not the type of person to stir up trouble. No, not at all. But I was just wondering. Can you hold that up? Oh wow. Wow. That that championship is nice, but it is it is not up to the dream team standards. It is not up to par. So I'm gonna need you to do me a, a solid bro. I mean, I'm gonna need you to polish that, shine it up real nice, make it presentable. Because you I don't think that's what he meant, bro. Because you will be handing over that Evolve Championship tomorrow to the new, the next champion, TJP. And I'm a nice guy. I am humble, I am smart, and I, I, I'm actually in my hometown, New York City. So I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to do you a big favor. Since you like to fight, since you want to talk about championships, how about the next time we're here in Queens, New York, September 11th, you versus TJP for the Evolve Championship. It was April 1st, 2016, I stood in this ring and I called out Triple H. And I said, Triple H, if you want the best for your Cruiserweight Classic, you'll contact me and you'll get with TJP. TJP proves me right. He proved me right two weeks ago. You proved me right tonight, and he will prove me right next Wednesday on the WWE Network. I've been hearing that the that the, the Cruiserweight division is coming to Raw. So Stephanie McMahon. my phone number because he has it. You have a conversation with Nick Foley and you think about this cruiserweight division because let me tell you something. Each passing week, every day, every week, every month, this man's price goes up. Life is good. I have some news that will set the sports entertainment world on fire. The contract has been signed. It has been sealed. It has been delivered. The check has been deposited. It is official. TJ Perkins is headed to the WWE Cruiserweight division on Monday Night Raw. I make deals. I make things happen. And I want to take this time to congratulate Stephanie McMahon and Mick Foley for securing the premier talent for Monday Night Raw and for making the deal of the century. He is sure to be a ratings draw. Raw is in great hands. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, where does that leave the Dream Team? Where does that leave the Dream Team? Of course, it leaves us with some extra zeros in our bank account, but it leaves me with more more financial responsibility, more power, more control. And I'm sure there will be wrestlers from around the world lined up for the opportunity to be in the dream team and to be managed by myself, Stokely Hathaway. But I'm not gonna just accept any old bum off the street. No, 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 no. You, you're gonna have to have, you are gonna have to have gold around your waist for me to listen to you. And in the words of my very, very best friend, Eddie Murphy, next week 
we are going to party all the time. And the party begins in Deer Park, New York, Saturday. TJ Perkins will put on a wrestling exhibition. He's going to dazzle. He's going to amaze against Darby Allen. He's going to show exactly what he is capable of on Monday Night Raw. He's going to squash, squash, squash Darby Allen. And the next night, Sunday, Queens, New York, TJ Perkins has assured me he's going to take care. He's going to finish some personal business with Matthew Riddle. And I promised TJ Perkins, I said that once he beat Riddle, I'm going to put a bonus in his check because that's how well I treat my clients. New York City, let's party.